What we are talking about is a little bit of cloudiness moving in this morning, but more thunderstorm threats are going to increase for us later today. So we had some early on. Those started to dissipate a little after midnight, and then another band came through. It's starting to fall apart. So again, partly cloudy skies for you as you head out the door this morning with no major concerns right now. 74 degrees in Mount Morris, 73 in Corona, 72 in Bridgeport. We had hail reported near the Quantica Sea area and also in Mount Morris. Of course, we had some power poles that were taken down and also some trees that were knocked down through Saginaw County. That's going to kind of going to be what we see today. I think we'll have a bigger damaging wind threat as temperatures go from the 70s into the mid 80s again today, well above the average, which is into the low to mid 70s and more thunderstorms develop towards our south and west start to push into the lower pen peninsula and interact with all of that very warm and moist, unstable air that we have later today. There's a big parent low, what we're calling the parent low. We have little individual smaller lows kind of riding around that parent low, but the low itself is starting to nudge a little more to the east. So instead of the severe weather risk being across the heart of the country, it is now slowly beginning to shift into the Great Lakes and the Ohio River Valley, and that's when our chances will start to increase again after a little bit of a reprieve from it overnight last night and into this morning. So hot and humid conditions again expected today. Look at the explosion of showers and storms future cast depicts by the time we head towards the noon hour and then beyond. And I think the highest severe potential will be from about 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. when we have the maximum daytime heating occurring. And then we'll fade those showers and thunderstorms a little bit overnight tonight. But here comes the front and also a very strong plume of moisture coming in all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. So even overnight we have a risk for a few showers and storms. And then tomorrow, same deal. We have a shower and thunderstorm chance, some of which could be strong to severe. So keep that at NBC 25 throughout the day today, but also throughout your Saturday as right now the Storm Prediction Center for today has Interstate 75 into the west highlighted under that risk for a slight chance of strong storms. Even though we're not in it in the thumb and north of Saginaw Bay, I think we are going to see that potential area wide with the hail and the damaging winds being the higher threat. But again, there is also a slight tornado chance over the next 24 to 48 hour period. Tomorrow, same deal, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Notice I've nudged rain chances up pretty significant for tomorrow, and I haven't really had a chance to talk about the flood potential. That's also there. We've got saturated grounds from Tuesday's severe weather, and not to mention the two to four inches of rainfall that fell in. I'm thinking anywhere from one to three inches of rain from now until Sunday, and that on top of those saturated grounds again will make things a little hazardous as far as the flood potential is concerned. So you know the drill, low-lying areas, be on guard for the potential for flooding and